Hamilton County students return to school tomorrow. This as a report published by the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association shows how easily children can get the coronavirus. It's raising more questions about if and when students should meet at school in person. Even more troubling, a Hamilton County nurse practitioner and parent whose children had COVID-19 tells us there may not be a right answer. When we got the diagnosis, um, just dread. Chattanooga nurse practitioner Heather Montgomery is a textbook example of the complicated combination of kids, classrooms, and COVID-19. She, along with her two oldest sons, Gannon on the left, Hunter on the right, got COVID-19 in early July and are still feeling the effects. They got the virus at the beginning of a four-week window when new data from the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital Association says there was a 90% increase increase in child COVID-19 cases. They all had very different symptoms um, and not even the symptoms that we were trained to look for. This week, the AAP said kids make up 9% of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. and 0.4% of virus-related deaths. Well, if that's your 1%, if that's your child or your grandmother, um, it doesn't matter what the statistic is. Hamilton County students go back to school tomorrow. That includes Heather's youngest kids who go to Loftus Middle School. And with her family's experience with the virus mixed with these new numbers, she says there's not a right answer right now for whether kids should be at school or not. Of course, we look at kids that um, don't have food in the home or in abusive situations. Um, there's definitely is there does their risk you know negate their pros it's it's and there's so much we don't know about this virus heather says what she does know is each family has to make their own choice what school setup works for them Heather Montgomery says her families weighed her kids' physical and mental health needs. Her family decided that her two youngest kids will go back to school in person following Hamilton County's hybrid virtual and in-person schedule for the month of August.